Do you wanna be great? I got a lot of stuff with my family, my friends. I got a picture of me and my brother sitting at the park that we grew up at. Do you wanna be great? This is all about my mom. Her favorite quote is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I got her name, the rose, the time I was born. Got Trenton makes the world takes on my chest. But then I got a path on the back of my right leg of all the schools I went through. It's a story of my life. It's all positive things. I feel like when some people see tattoos, they kind of just judge this book by its cover. But don't don't judge me until you know me. Yeah, off my chest, no more excuses. Scared to death, but I can't lose grip. I'm... One of my favorite ones is the one by my brother. Um, it says, whatever I got, you can get it. If I ain't got it, I'm going to go out and get it. We split it. We did it. And um, every time I'm in the mirror looking, I just, I just look at it and I just remind myself. A reminder of what he plays for, a brother who chose a different path. Noel Powell was arrested in November of 2017 and charged with murder. He is awaiting trial in the Monmouth County Correctional Institution. I think of my brother all the time. I love my parents. I know we're going through a rough time, but I'm the happiness in the family right now. So I just keep that in mind when I'm having a bad day or I'm not really making shots. It's like, I just remind myself that it can, it can be a lot worse. When you came to Seton Hall, could you ever have envisioned this much success personally for you by your senior year? I mean, no, no, no way. I mean, I was 250 pounds, just broke my foot twice. Um, I mean, I always believed in myself, but I never really expected it to get like this. Oh, bang! You've got to be kidding me, my old pal! The very close player-head coach relationship that you and Coach Willard have is, is so well documented. I mean, he's more than a coach to me. I look at him more as a, like a father figure. I mean, sometimes I catch him believing in me more than I believe in myself. When I was going through the things with my brother, he invited me into his home. It's just little things like that that coach has done for me that it's like I will never forget. It was also an emotional off season and summer for you. Uh, much speculation about whether you would leave early for the NBA. Um, you chose to come back. I signed with Rock Nation, I and mean, they worked out at California. You know, everybody want to tell you all the good at that point. Nobody really want to sit you down and tell you, like, the bad. I mean, I was talking to Coach on the phone, and he just heard it in my voice. And he like, Miles, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing, Coach. And he like, Miles, I can hear it in your voice. So, so he flew out to California? The next day. He just dropped everything that he was doing, put everything aside, and he was out there. We wanted him to go. That's your lifelong dream as a coach, is to get someone into the NBA. And my role was more someone that was just gonna try to make him make an educated decision. And at the end of the day, it was gonna be his decision. Would you say that he was at the top of the list in terms of deciding factors yes, of everything you had sure. to weigh in? Yeah, without a doubt. Him and my brother, and I called my brother, he started to break down, I'm like, I'm happy for you, but you're not finished yet. I want you to be the first person in the family to graduate. I want you to get that paper from me. Once he said that and then I talked to Coach, it was pretty much over. I can sacrifice six, seven more months of my life to make the family happy. Wow. My old pal has taken over. Uh, he really brings the Pirates the swag, the confidence, and a go-to player in crunch time. To be able to go on this journey with him and watch him come from this high school kid that was a shooter now to probably one of the best players in the country and to be able to see him grow as a man too, it's something I'll never forget. What have you learned the most if you were to take a life lesson away from your journey so far at Seton Hall? That there are better days ahead, especially coming as a freshman, 250 pounds, I had to see the bigger picture and I just had to keep telling myself it's better days ahead, it's better days ahead. And the thing I went through with my brother, our families, my sophomore year, I just kept telling myself it's better days ahead, better days ahead. The junior year, I had the year I had, and now I'm here where I am now. Miles Powell is the man. Trent, New Jersey, rise up. When you see me, you just say he's playing for something. I played for this family, I played for the Seahawks across my chest, and most importantly, I played for the last name on the back of my jersey.